box. I got some leftover wood from uh, other projects. So I'm gonna build a little box for that stuff and then build another little uh, box for some miscellaneous type of stuff. And then uh, build a small little chuck box. It's uh, gonna hold the stove, a couple uh, pans, pot, maybe coffee pot. I'm not sure what else. Kind of making it up as I go along. We'll see how all this works out. And this was upside down. This great. I'll have to flip that over. There's the first box. It's not super perfect, but uh, good enough. Years ago, I had a woodshop teacher, and he always told me to uh, set the blade an eighth of an inch above your workpiece. That way, if God forbid you uh, run your hand over it, it only moves an eighth of an inch rather than having the blade sticking way up there and actually cutting a digit off or ripping a tendon out or something. I've always, uh, always lived by that rule. I've never stuck my hand in the blade, but that was a long time ago he taught me that. He actually, uh, is the reason I have a coffee cup like this. Him and the metal shop, metal shop teacher both had coffee cups like this, except they had the little mustache guard too. I never, uh, I never did the mustache guard cup, but that's the reason I have a coffee cup like that was because those guys from way back in the, when I was doing shop classes. He also told me, uh, always follow your work all the way through, and obviously I stopped it for this, just to do a little demonstration. But, well, I can't eyeball stuff on the table, so I'll do a straight line, and I don't have a big uh, table. So, Unistrut is a fence. Hold down with some clamps. Put it an inch and a half past the line, and close it off with the old skill saw. square but that's okay it's gonna be good enough
Here's uh, basically what it looks like so far. Things will change as I use it, but this is kind of the basic design. The front I was having a hard time figuring out, and I just figured I'd uh, make a table. So that's what I did. I'm on try number two with my uh, build a stand out of wood for my burner so I can get rid of the uh, little green bottles, which are super convenient, but they're pretty wasteful. So first attempt uh, kind of burned up, and then it uh, also wiped the stove out too. So the second attempt is the same exact design. Except instead of having a, a larger piece up on the top, I just have two rails for the stove to sit on. I'm just going to let it sit there and cook for a while and see what happens. Oh, I let it burn for a while. Uh, the stove is definitely hot. We got the suppliers. The, uh, the piece of wood got slightly warm, but it's not really hot at all, so I'll call that a uh, Give that a, a field test next and see how that works out. Once the uh, burner's done and comes out of it, disconnect the uh, bungee cord. Pull these two things out. And the whole thing's on hinges so it lays down flat for storage. And it should fit right in the back end here somewhere. Fit right into the little chuck box right there. 